The boys are about to drop me off on the remote islands. Over the next couple of days, I'm attempting a fun but very challenging catch and cook. Oh. 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 Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, Brody, why the bloody hell do you have a coconut? Well, later on, I'm going to attempt to cook whatever I catch in this coconut on the campfire. I almost lost it there. The plan is to catch something big only using my underwater bow and arrow. I want to make it around the point just in time for the dead high tide. When the tides go slack, no current, clear water. Big fish, baby. It's coming into the turtle mating season. So there are turtles absolutely everywhere here at the moment. <laughs> Oh, there's a turtle literally right there, just washed up with the swell. I'll make sure I go around him. Oh, where did you come from? Hello. Wow. This is all, oh, look at them here. There's in here everywhere. I've got to keep moving. Hopefully the boys chuck me my fins and we are out of here. This thing here attached to the shaft, when it flies and I hit a monster, I should be able to fight it a bit more. It won't be a free shaft, it won't pull off and all that. So hopefully I have a heap better chance of landing an absolute monster. So it's a lot harder than it looks because we're holding our breath and we're diving a bit deeper now. As soon as you load it back and you exert all your strength, I instantly lose my breath hold and you shake. And any little movement sort of sends the spear in a direction, but I'm getting better. This spot we just went over is absolutely loaded, but I bloody cooked it. I'm sort of getting my eye and it's really hard. I hit a beautiful mangrove jack, but they're so hard, the scales, it just sort of nicked it and fell out. We're gonna keep drifting out further and further and do some deeper drops, but it feels good. I'm close. The sharks are bloody everywhere though. It is absolutely on and I've seen some big mackies, so fingers crossed they come back.
I've drifted pretty far from the island. Anywhere from now on, it's gonna be between 10 and maybe 25 meters of water. So Jared's hopping in with the other bow and arrow to try and get a fish. D-Man's in for support. The boys are there. It's gonna be bloody on. Because we want to feed all our families, we're going to hop in, why they're bloody everywhere, and try and get another one. I got my eye in, so let's not waste no more time. stuck straight into this. This is the coconut, but it's time to make the fire. I'm so excited about this. Come on, first go. Damn it. Oh, 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 some smoke. Here we go. Oh, that burnt my face. Actually singed the hairs on my face. But it doesn't matter. We're on. Little small sticks. We got fire, baby! Woo! I'm just gonna crank this fire, get some nice coals going, and go process these fish by the ocean. And then later on, cooking this bad boy. Let's go. Finally, I'll give you a bit better look of where those sharks absolutely destroyed this. It was down deep when they got it, so I didn't actually get to film it, but one big shark has come in and absolutely swallowed half of this mackerel, even more. It's a big, big shark down deep. I'm not gonna waste this, so I'm gonna process it right now. Mackies are absolutely beautiful, you feel it. Just behind the fin there, cut up. Oh, it's 
so easy to do. Towards the front there, maximize the meat. Down the back, you've got to be careful with Mackie not to, to uh, cut too deep. Set your line, down the back, kick it out. Then I do a couple of deep chops. Man, this knife's so sharp too. Straight down like that, towards the middle of the frame. Just gonna come through, down underneath there. I, I am careful not to pop the gut, but so also when you're filleting, of course, it's all a personal choice of what you guys want to sort of do. Run along the spine there, up and over. It's a little bit more difficult because I got half a fish. So often I get to fill it up. Look at that. There. There's the belly. A couple of cuts there. And up like that. One more. You bloody beauty. And there you go, half of a half of a Mackie. I'll put that there, I'm gonna process the other side. You guys are probably wondering what I'm doing with the hand line here. Well, the end of this Mackie here, I like to chop a fair bit of that off where the sharks have been, it's been sitting in the esky and it could be a little bit contamin contaminated. So I'm gonna chop it straight down like that. And I'm gonna use these off cuts here for a little bit of bait, just to see what I can catch off the beach for a bit of fun. And maybe if I catch something good, like a javali or whatever, that'll be straight on the campfire. Oh. Oh. Oh, what is that? Ooh, that's a big flatty. Well, oh, he's going straight for it. A big flathead, that'd be awesome. Yep, 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 yep. Boom. Oh. What I'm going to do is I'll just leave that hand line there. We'll just see what happens. Skin and cube this side before I process the rest of the mackie. Get it ready to go in the coconut. Up, up, whoa! Look how nice that is. That is absolutely beautiful. The first thing you need to know about this cook is I actually have no idea if it's going to work, but if it does, it's going to be absolutely delicious. I've got a coconut, of course, a bit of green shit, red shit, onion, some turmeric coming. <laughs> Cumin. <laughs> you said cumin. Is it coming or cumin? Cumin. Um, it's cumin. <laughs> Chilies. And then over here, I got flour and water. I'll explain what that is later on. But for now, I got to husk this bad boy. So we go to my husking station, right bloody here. Like that. And I'm in. Quick taste test. Look at that. Look at that. Nature's nectar right there. Oh, it's full. Absolutely chockers. I just rounded out this hole a little bit more because I'm about to start stuffing things in there. First thing though, I'm gonna put a little bit of coconut water on my fish here. About that much, just a little splash. A little bit of turmeric, not too much. Just uh, whatever you really feel like. Whoops, that's way too much. Oh no, I might have saved it. Cuming, whatever you want to call it. Start piling a little bit of fish in here. Maybe like three or four bits. And then grab your weapons of choice here. A few of them, a bit of red shit. Straight in there, get in there. Missed it. <laughs> bit of onion, a little bit of chili. Give it a little as well. A few more pieces of fish. Boop. Repeat the process a few times. You kind of just want to fill it up to almost near the top. Man, this one's a hungry little coconut. It's a really good one. You want to get in there and put it down the sides. And to finish filling the coconut up with a bit more cocoa juice, about that. I'm making a lid to put over the coconut and that's going to sort of seal it in. So I'm just making a dough. Bit of flour, about there. Bit of water, whoops, whoops. Making a mess. This is starting to come together now. Look at that. Brody's dough shop. The flour on the table. Oop, that's probably too much. And what I want to do is I want to make this super flat. Just like a little pizza based really. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a second. Oh. Cocoa water down here to the cocoa station. So I'm gonna put the coconut water around the edge of the coconut. 
And what that's gonna do is it's gonna help this stick to the side of it. Put this guy over the top. <laughs> like that. Oh, I absolutely nailed this one. Busted out the welding gloves for this because I really gotta be careful where I put that coconut. And that fire is actually the hottest bloody thing ever. It's a proper fire. It's already burning my little chickens off. Alright, make a little spot there. The time has finally come. To drop the cocoa in my legs. Oh yeah. Oh, I already stuffed it. Sit in there. There we go. That is perfect! It's gonna kind of ah, burn my face off. You guys have no idea how hot this fire is. As you can see, it's starting to already go black and it's probably cooking inside there. We've just restocked all the gloves, hoodies, hats, and all that good stuff on youngbloods.co. We've even got the buckets, the safety glasses. Fingers crossed that this is gonna work. It's 50-50 and I'm so excited to find out. And my legs are burning still. <laughs> I think these are finished. Oh, grab them. Oh, one there. Whew. Two. Ah, it's even going through the glove. The time has finally come to eat the fish that we've cooked inside this coconut here. Behind the scenes, the boys and I have been hard at it for days and days and days. You guys don't realize that we actually go out there and sometimes don't see a thing or get a fish. So it makes these moments so much more special. We've missed so many fish on this journey. Fish after fish after fish on the deep drops. But right now, with the boys down the beach, we're about to crack open this coconut and uh, let's see what's inside. Oh yeah. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> oh, look at that. To get a good chunk of fish. There it is, right there. Holy damn, that tastes so bloody good. We're gonna absolutely smash the rest of this. That's a bloody wrap, baby. 